Hey everyone, I saw somebody posted uh, a question in the Facebook, Elementor Facebook group, and I just decided to build it. And this is a website, um, and the person who was asking the question wanted to know how to build something like this. This seems simple enough. It may take a little CSS override, but basically what's happening here technically is when we hover, two things are happening. One, a background showing, and the title is moving in. So let's build that. So here we are on the page, and let's just duplicate as much as we can. So I'm going to go to the style of the page. I'm going to make the background type color uh, black, jet black. Okay. All righty. And so are we using um, containers? We're using containers. Okay. That's fine. All righty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a container. And it really doesn't matter which way it goes, but I'll just say the direction is going to be a row. And what I'm going to do is inside of this, okay, that's a major container. So the container goes full width. So what I need to do is probably put an inner container because we need to make the, uh, let's see, what are we looking for? We're looking for the border, 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 border. That would be a style. Yes, it would. All right. So the border type is going to be solid. The border width is going to be one but we don't want it on the left and right. So we'll make that zero, left and right, zero. And we need to make the color and we're gonna make it white. Okay, there we go. So let's just update that and let's preview. And okay, that, oh, I, I was, okay, it has no content, so that's fine. Alrighty, so we need to go to this container and we need to go to the layout and we need to have a min height. And let's just say mm, 115, 116, that's okay. All right, and then we're gonna put in a title and we'll just put the title in there. And we need to make the title text color and we're gonna make it white. Whoop. And we're not gonna go for, you know, picture perfect, but we're just gonna do that. And we're gonna, you, you can take your um, OCD to making the font the right style. So um, I need to go back to said container and I need to um, items need to make things go in the center. Nope, not that center. The center center. Thank you. And overlay. We need to choose the image. Go back to it. All right. And background image. Normal. We don't want normal. We want hover. So let's go to the image and choose that. Then when we hover, there we go. We've got it going on. Okay, so we want the position to be center, center. We want the attachment, nope, repeat, no repeat. The size gonna be cover. Is it still scrolling? Yes, it's still scrolling. And we don't want that. And I don't know how to control that. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the normal state and insert the image. And we will size, cover, Repeat, no repeat. Okay, and it's moving because position needs to be center, center. Okay, when we hover, nothing changes. But we need to go to the opacity of said normal state and turn it off so that when we do, do hover over it, that's what we want. So I'm going backwards and saying, don't put anything in the background. Okay, so, but the background overlay is perfect. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to control the title. So that's gonna have to take some CSS override. So let's move to that section and how we do that. So let's go right click in and edit the heading. We're gonna go to advanced and we're gonna go to motion effects. This is the first try. So on motion effects, Entrance animation, no. We actually want something to happen on hover. Oh, look, transform. Let's click hover. And what we want is, mm, we don't want it to flip, we don't want it to scale, we don't want it, hey, offset. Here we go, hmm. 
x, y. y is up and down, x is left and right. So if we do 170 pixels, hey, we're getting there. This is fun. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, let's go 130. Okay, that's way too much. Let's just go 90 or maybe even just 50. So when you hover over it, but we want that to happen at the same time. We want this to be, okay, so let's have, let's, mm -hmm, let's think about this. What if I took the header, okay, we could do this with CSS, but I'm trying not to. Um, what if I went to the layout and gave padding on the top and bottom, let's just say mm, 40 and bottom 40. There you go. That's how you do it. So basically what I did was I padded the title to the height of the background by guessing 40 pixels. And boys and girls, that's how you do it.